What's going on, Fishaholics? So, it's rainy, it's crummy, it's windy out here in the Mecca, but I have two days off. So I've heard of some phenomenal fishing up north. I'm not gonna say where I'm gonna be going, but it's gotta be pretty good if I'm leaving Montauk, I'm leaving the Mecca to go somewhere else to catch fish. So uh, I don't have a lot of time, you know, I'm, I'm only gonna fish probably this evening and then probably overnight and then fish the entire next day and then I gotta be back in Montauk to work again. So I'm gonna do my best to try and risk it, get up there and catch some fish, let's go. Who's here also? The master himself, Simon. Oh, hey, no. What's up? What's up, dude? I, sorry I'm late, but. Uh, it's cool. I'm getting I, out of here. You didn't miss anything. Let's go look at the water. Yeah, let's go. I mean, I was going to definitely come here at dawn, and yeah, dawn, I've never really? I've never fished here, like, period. I've been, I've been here, but I've never fished here. Yeah. Those red towers right there. Oh, okay. Go over the canal. Yeah. Right here, it, was, it was shoulder to shoulder from, like, that bridge to power lines no way really. yeah uh, i rode my bike until i got away from the people and uh i was gonna try and get a bike at walmart maybe i'll go to walmart tonight and sleep in the lot or something like that. that's the place you can't sleep here yeah you can sleep here oh they'll sleep here then and uh if it says no camping like on the sign over there which i don't think it does yeah. I mean, there's a little ice skating rink right down the road yeah dude look at this fucking shit man I don't have a rain jacket. So oh, I'm you've been, you been, you need a rain jacket. I was fishing in the rain, not Team Cotton. Simone, he's been roughing it out here, getting soaked. Team Cotton, man. <laughs> Team Cotton. We do not believe in no waterproof <laughs> rain jacket bullshit. Nah. Simone, uh, is hardcore. He doesn't, he, he doesn't mind getting a little wet. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I guess uh, I'm gonna get waited up and just give it a shot. And, yeah, dude, uh, I, would, I would, if I were you, I would definitely fish like at least an hour. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an hour and then probably take a nap or something. Yeah. But. All right, guys, first Cape Cod Canal striper right there. Obviously, I wasn't recording. It's raining out here. It's, in dar it's dark out. Really tough filming conditions, but uh, five, ten minutes of fishing. Got my first Cape Cod Canal striper right there. Woo! Let's get him back. nicer morning out here than it was last night. Last night it was raining, it was windy, there was a lot of current, the tide was really really high, it was almost you know all the way up to the, the grass line here, all these rocks were underwater. But it seems like now the tide is a lot lower, so uh, maybe I can jump on that rock there, start casting, and then kind of just work up and down here. Nice little spot here. All right, first cast. Let's see how long it takes me to find a fish. Last night I was fishing for like five, ten minutes, and uh, you know I had my first first fish on. It was you know it was only like a 25 inch, 26 inch striper, but you know hopefully I can have some uh, modest success today. Seems like not much is going on right now. I saw one guy get like a 40, 45 inch fish. 
but uh, for the most part it just seems like a lot of guys are just casting and kind of hoping to get a bite. Doesn't seem like anything is really turning on just yet. Come on, striper. That's the cast right there. Come on. There he is. Fish on. Got him. Oh, it's a big fish, too. Oh, it's a big one. My drag was really loose. Oh, yeah. It's a nice fish here. Woo! I hooked this fish a lot faster than I thought I would. Oh, yeah, man. This is a nice one. Got him on this custom pencil popper. I think this is the first fish this pencil popper's ever caught. I'll give you a little closer look in a second once I get the fish in. Woo! Nice fish though. I think he's about 36 inches or so, maybe. Maybe a little bigger if I'm lucky. Come here, baby. Or maybe he's a little smaller than I thought. I don't know how big he is, it's hard to tell. He absolutely crushed it though. Oh yeah, nice bass here guys. Beautiful fish. Easily like a 40 inch bass right there. Alright guys, right there is what we came for. So worth driving 6-7 hours from the Mecca to Cape Cod. This is the pencil popper right here. They got me my first fish. I think this is the first, that was the first fish this popper has ever caught too. I mean, look how pristine it is. It's like in perfect condition. <laughs> but uh, now it's getting a little scratch marks. Let's get some more. All right, hells to the yeah right there. Let's try and keep this momentum going. All right, time to make a move. Doesn't seem like much is going on here anymore. I think that first fish I got was just a lucky catch. Lucky fish. All right, at a new spot. Out here a little east. Sounds like it. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Monster. Came a little east and I found a nice little striper. Yeah, hell yeah. Sea money over there. It's putting me on some lunkers. This is what you gotta come to the Cape Cod Canal to catch. Ho! Oh! Alright, let's try on this side here. Sea money's killing it on top water. I don't have any small little Zara spooks or anything. All I have is like some small bucktails and this zoom super fluke all I have is like big stuff I don't have any you know too much small stuff I also have a little cast master I could throw that on but I don't know I don't know if that'll do any good oh that's the cast right there if something doesn't eat this then I have to change my tactics there he is definitely a little bigger than my first one and he choked the, su the super fluke. That's the cast right there. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. He's ripping. He's ripping. No freaking way. Oh, he got me under the barrier. Ah, <laughs> uh, shoot. Damn it. 
Oh, he came out. He came out. He came out. And you just hooked my. You hooked my fish. That was my. Yeah, that was my fish. <laughs> Yeah, I'm using like a, a largemouth bass setup. Yeah, crappy setup. That's number three for me. Yeah, that was my fish. Now, I think there's like a rope out there where he got me under the barrier and then I pulled on him and he came like zipping out and then he came to the surface because I, I was pulling on him pretty hard, so. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's it's a shad. It's not they're not not mackerel, they're shad. That would be a good live bait though. So we left that really hot schooly bite and uh, we came back towards the center of the canal. Obviously we're looking for some bigger fish. Oh shoot, look at that. Did you guys just see that? Freaking shark just came cruising right through the uh, canal. Could have been a gray white or something. All right, fishaholics, so other than that shark that I saw, the bite's been pretty dead. We've gone to Friendly's. The bite was really good there. Came back to the canal where we had anticipations for some big fish. There's Sea Money. Sea Money's been doing miles upon miles on the bike. 10 miles, I think, to be exact, maybe 12 now. He did 10, 10 miles on the bike yesterday. He probably did another 10 today. I've been kind of just walking around and just waiting for the fish to turn on. But we're gonna we're resorting to going back to the schoolie bite, and that's uh, maybe where we'll we'll find some giants. Are right? you you're thinking giants? I don't know. I'm thinking I'm gonna catch more schoolies than you're gonna catch, though. Oh, so it's gonna be a competition. Yeah. yeah loser yeah. buys pizza. I mean, I go for some midnight pizza. Yeah. All right. You down? Uh, loser buys. <laughs> loser buys pizza. Six pack. Or a six pack? And a blood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> Alright, well we're gonna go to the schoolie spot. See who wins or who comes out on top. Look at those damn rims right there. Shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> I should put like some flash in there. <laughs> like uh yeah. put some sparklers on there. <laughs> oh. Nah, you gotta go old school and put the beer can in the tire. Yeah, beer can. Close. Or glow sticks, that'd be pretty badass. I'd be like that crazy TikTok now fishing. I don't think anyone's rocking glow sticks on the bikes out here. 